Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz in the Inland Empire. Karen Spiegel is back. She's the vice mayor of the city of Corona. She's a candidate for the Board of Supervisors in Riverside County. That election's in June 2018. It's a few, few months, if not over a year away, but that's all good. I want to talk about a program. We're hearing a lot about it in the news. It's a program known as Meals on Wheels. Mm -hmm. What is Meals on Wheels exactly? Meals on Wheels is a program that's been around for for decades, literally, literally decades, yeah. um, and it's providing uh, meals for seniors and disabled folks that are right. in their homes. And what I think is so compelling about the program is both sides of the equation benefit. Of course, the individual receiving the meal, they're in need of assistance, and so they receive the meal, and it gives them sustenance. But and I'm getting chills talking about it. I can't even imagine the person who delivers the meal. Tell well, us about the deliverers. <laughs> well, you have to understand, mm -hmm. the the recipient of the meals right. not only gets the meals, right. but they get right. that personal contact. Right, right. And we have people in their homes that that may be the only mm -hmm. contact that they get for the week. Mm -hmm. And so the volunteers go through a minimal, I mean, some screening, right? but it is so rewarding. And you have all ages, all... Right. Um, uh, Economic uh, backgrounds, everything, ethnic backgrounds. Everything. And the commitment is significant, but can be worked out, as yes. I understand it. Uh, packaged meals are picked up around 10 o'clock each morning mm -hmm. and delivered at noon. Uh, around, yeah. Yeah, of course, no compensation, but that's part of the volunteer spirit. Uh, you can figure out a route that you'd like. You can do it a few days a month. I mean, the program they, yeah. generally is flexible. Is that they right? They have a coordinator that, that has this big master block. Right. Because... What's happened is, and the reason I'm talking about it right. being in Corona City yeah. Council, is that Riverside Meals on Wheels. Well, let's don't jump ahead, Ken. Okay, yet. don't I jump wanna, ahead. Okay. Because I do want to ask you about Corona. Okay. Okay. Does Corona have a Meals on Wheels program? Corona's program um, dissolved in the 70s. Wow. Okay. So now we can jump ahead. Now we can jump ahead. <laughs> I got a whole plan for this <laughs> yeah, interview. Okay. I'm a crazy guy. Talk to us about Sister City Riverside. Well, what happened is I started this program called Corona Laugh. Laugh right. stands for Life After 55. Okay. You're over 55? <laughs> Never over mind. 55. <laughs> Never mind. I should need to be quiet. Keep going. My age is not exactly. something I can hide. Exactly. It's very public. No, you're wonderful. And it's um, a program. We were looking at what the needs were in our community. Uh -huh. And we were finding that more and more people were in need of senior right. Meals on Wheels. How did you determine that? I mean, Corona's a, you know, it's a big city, it's vibrant, it's thriving, it's got the new 91 freeway. I, honestly, how did you figure that out? Well, because when we started Corona Laugh, we've got all entities within the Corona, people interested in working with seniors, people that were already working with seniors, right. people that work at homes, some of the sure, sure, senior sure. housing. Right. And so it was everybody that had their hands in the senior community. So it became clear pretty quickly pretty quick, yeah. that the abolition of Meals on Wheels and Corona needed to be uh, addressed. Yes. Okay, so how does Riverside come into play? Because just to remind our viewers, Riverside and Corona touch, is that right? Yes. Yeah, you touch. We okay. We do. Mm -hmm. um, we've partnered with Riverside in many things. And when I had heard about Riverside's Meals on Wheels, right. I approached them. And at that time, they were looking at expanding. <laughs> how convenient. And we were looking at starting. Right. And so we just partnered. Um, we didn't have to start a whole program. The right. pains of starting a new nonprofit is 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 very oh, no. very serious. Yeah, you know from what you speak. And they were struggling, wanting they're at that cusp. But do they grow or do they stay small? Right. And so the partnership was just a perfect marriage. So explain the partnership, and more importantly, how can someone who's watching, who lives in Riverside, Corona, East Vale, Hoover Valley, all that kind of oh, the yep. general mm -hmm. area, how, how can we get involved? Well, we're always looking for volunteers. Right. We're looking for both those that, re that receive the meals as well as volunteers that deliver. And well, so you're also looking for, I guess we'll call them new clients. Absolutely. Okay, absolutely. fair, very fair. Okay. Because our routes um, in our area, right. because we are as thriving as Riverside, because right. they've been around for a while, right. um, our routes are a little longer I because understand. they have to have a certain number of deliveries per route. Right, okay. And so... Um, Corona Norkel is one route, and then we're right. going to Eastfield and Herbert. So there's there's several routes that this is now. So is this started. also Norco? Yes. You, Norco's covered as well. Yeah, it, this is Corona Norco, and, some, and if there's somebody in Eastfield and Herbert Valley, they uh, cover 
Oh, Bavaria. fantastic. So it's all the whole district, sure, actually. Sure. So it's really been something that's, that's coming alive for the entire district. Okay, so I want to get a sense of how we can volunteer. Do you need cooks? No. Fair. That, the meals come from where? There's a professional cooks. Okay. They, with a nutritionalist, and that's very important because people have um, right. special diets, yeah. vegetarian and, and or do diabetic. do you provide and, that, a, a diabetic yes. meal, yes. a vegetarian meal, whatever yes. it may be? Okay, that's Low good sodium, if it's cardiac. Wow, that's, that's pretty remarkable. Yes. Okay, so cooking's handled. So the volunteers are those that go to the distribution center, pick up the meals, and then they drive them to the various locations. Correct. How many, if you're a driver, how many people are you seeing in a day? 10 to 12. Oh, oh, so this is... Yeah, it's, it's a couple hours to deliver. Okay, them. so the reality is the program's off the ground, am I right? Yes. It's going. Yes, it's been going for a couple years now. I mean, how proud are you that you've been able to be part of this new partnership? Well, it's very exciting, right. but we also just wanted to grow, and, and we always need volunteers. To this day? Yeah, both Riverside and Corona, oh, the whole area. So I want to speak with you more broadly about partnerships generally because it's clear to me that you try to think of ways to create efficiencies, synergies. Um, why you know, build it if it's already been built? Absolutely. Why reinvent the wheel? And so I wanna get a sense from you what you've done in addition to scaling up the Riverside Meals on Wheels. And since you happen to be running for the Board of Supervisors, maybe this strength of finding you know, ways to partner can be taken a little more uh, widely. Well, when um, I was mayor in four, 2014. Right. Rotating mayor in We Corona? rotate mayor. Okay. Um, Still? And, yes, yeah. all, all the rest of the cities and district, Got this it. district do. Okay. So we rotate and um, I was started something new in Corona called the Mayor's Message. Okay. And we would film things from uh, nonprofit programs to city departments right. or events of the city, and we would air them. Well, do you have a media department? We do not have okay. a media department, and it was very costly. Yes. So I connected with the city of Riverside. <laughs> Your friend next door. <laughs> friend next door. Right. They had all this equipment, and we basically rented. And right. You paid them a, a paid fee, them. a reasonable fee. Right. And they, their employees, the city of Riverside employees, came, filmed. Brilliant. Took it back, prepared it, and then gave us the end product, and we used it. And that way, we were able to help supplement sure, theirs as course. well as not having to. To purchase ours. So the question becomes: Look, in the city, the county of Riverside, I think there are 28 cities. I know 20. the district in which you are seeking not all 28, right. obviously. Right. But how can we continue to create efficiencies and synergies? Because that's really it's kind of the buzzword with the new administration in Washington, and generally mm -hmm. we're trying to make government more efficient. So how can we do that? Are you, I mean, are you thinking cap on? Well, we have to look at the positives of each of our cities. Right, that's a good point. And instead of always pointing out negatives. And right. seeing, you know, we tend to focus on the things we can't do rather than right. the things we can do. So, like, for example, Norco, Horsetown, USA. Mm -hmm. If Riverside has an equestrian issue, maybe they can contact Norco. Absolutely. And that's presumably in... And then Nor uh, Norco and Hoover Valley both have equestrian. Right. So, so. so is that on top of mind as you're starting to plan for this very significant run to be one of five supervisors in a county of over two million people? I have been keen on partnerships for years, right. so this is not new. Um, but that's what made me more interested. Um, partnering with the county, Jay Orr, who is our CEO yeah. of the county, has come and partnered. We have Healthy Corona, and we partner with the county and other cities. I mean, everything, yeah. why recreate? <laughs> why reinvent the wheel? There are other opportunities that we could just bring back and, and mold it to our right. community. She is the Vice Mayor of Corona, Karen Spiegel. I'm Brad Pomerantz. It's Local Edition.